I want to share a preventative maintenance item with you. Something that I do at each oil change or periodically when I clean the car, I'll do it. But at least at every oil change, I'm reminded to do this. And this is something that scares me. When I first saw this on my 13 Mustang, it scared me to, to see the capless filler neck that Ford started to use. And they use it on a lot of their cars now. I don't know that they use it on every one of their cars, but they're using it on most of their cars now. And you can see how dirty mine is right now. I live on a gravel road and it's, it's always collects dust and dirt. Don't get me wrong, I hate doing redundant things. So why open the fuel filler door and then have to unscrew a cap? So I love this, that all I have to do is push on the door fuel filler door, open it up, and then insert my nozzle into my filler neck, and I'm fuel in the car. I'll spray a little armor all onto a rag. And I'll spray the door seal, the door seal here. It just gets sprayed with armor all, and it gets on the car. So I use a clean dry rag spray some onto the rag and just wipe down this area and the reason I do this is because there were stories in the past and I've had cars that did this that when the filler cap was old and either leaked or failed to vent properly then the EGR system and the computer would cause a fault So in similar manner, if this seal that's in here, there's a seal in here that when you put the uh, gas in it and the nozzle goes down in here, it has two releases on each side and this flap that's down in here, the metal flap will open up and that is sealed so the dirt doesn't get in here. And there's also, of course, this seal that I'm cleaning that's on the door that seals this this area so you don't need a cap so my thought process is i don't want dirt getting in to my fuel tank and i don't want a problem with any kind of uh, an egr system or charcoal ventilation that for the tank i want to prevent any kind of problems So once you clean this, it's okay to leave an armor all film. This is all plastic right here. It's okay to leave a armor all film. And you know, some, some may say that, oh, well that'll collect dust. Sure, I'd rather have the dust be collected out here than go into the tank. So out here I can always clean it the next time that I wipe this down. Another thing I like to do is clean the filler neck and this is designed so that if you want to fuel on a fuel can this won't work. You have to go in the trunk and get this funnel out of the spare tire area. This car doesn't have a spare tire. It's got a inflator. It's got a, a little air compressor but it's back in the trunk in that area and this inserts into the hole and operates the two plungers the plungers that are on either side to open up that fuel door and if I insert my funnel in there and open up the door push it open and insert a tool inside I can push the door open and take the funnel back out and my door will stay open. Let me show that to you. See how the, the door has stayed open slightly. You can see the latches on either side. So 
So here and here are the two little latches. And you can see that the door hinges to the top. See how it goes up and now it's open. So I can stick my finger in there and wipe that seal. And I'll put my rag on my finger. So spray a little WD-40 on my finger that's on the rag. Get in there. And I can wipe down that hole. I can feel the seal. It's just plastic. There's no O-ring or anything there. Where that seats, where that door seats into, that metal door seats into. And I can wipe that down all the way, turn my finger around and go 360 degrees. I can feel it and push, just use my finger, push that door open and continue to wipe that seal and down into the neck and the door. I wipe down all that and look how my rag looks. See how it's, it's turned kind of black. So it's, it's grimy, it's dirty down in there. And my door is still open those little latches, since they're, they've been released, they don't let it close. Oh, there it closed. I let one of them release and it closed. To get that door to come back and seal, you just insert your little funnel back in there again and release those latches, and then the door will release. Now, I don't know of a, a great way to um, lubricate that door because the hinge is up inside here, up on the top. So I don't know if, if just spraying it with WD-40 really helps it, but uh, if you got a sticky door, you can attempt to do that. You can attempt to spray it with WD-40 and then just work it back and forth. Same way with those latches. But with those little plastic latches, I'll just lubricate them with just a drop of motor oil, of synthetic motor oil, and put just a drop on each of those. and then work them just a little bit with my funnel that keeps it operating operating well and then i finish up the job by wiping out the rest of this outside area and any dirt and grime out here and i'll spray either wd-40 on my finger again or a little bit of armor all on this outside here also and clean that up and just cleaning that up I like uh, WD-40 on this it takes any of the uh, solvents cleans that off it's good for like carbon buildup and and that sort of thing it's got cleaning properties so WD-40 Plus it's got some lubricating properties and, and corrosion resistance properties. Of course, I don't need the corrosion resistance on plastic. But as far as uh, cleaning though, it does a good job cleaning. So that's it. That's what uh, preventative maintenance, you should do that periodically and keep this, this clean, it'll keep it it's operating properly and it'll help it seal it'll keep dirt out of your fuel tank is uh, the critical thing i believe that concludes the video i hope that you found it helpful and if you did please subscribe i look forward to your comments